Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. Tyler, nice to have you back in house after the tractor parade <laughs> today. Oh, it was great. It was freezing cold. I mean, it's only 24, but 24 hits different after, you know, a month of 50. Did you get any hot chocolate? No. No, no hot Not chocolate. There. Oh. There's hot chocolate in the break room here, maybe after. I'm warm though now, because we had the weather lab at the end and then yeah, that's right, right back. Mm -hmm. And yeah, record number of participants. So. That's awesome. <clears throat> Very cool. And we've got snow on the way. So if you want some snow for your lights or to cover, <clears throat> cover up the green grass, it's on the way for Sunday, especially by Sunday late afternoon and into Sunday night. Now it's not very much, it's not a big deal, but it will be slippery, I think, for some of us with the dusting to two inches possible. We're thinking the most will be in northern New York, like the southern Adirondacks into southern Vermont. So that is what we're watching for later on Sunday. But until that happens, we have got this massive area of Canadian high pressure. That means cold, it also means clear, not just tonight, but through the day tomorrow. So another day with blue sky to enjoy, and there's not much wind, even at three or 4,000 feet. So if you want to ski, it's always nice when it's not super windy at the summit level. See that little band of, well, just about nothing by Cleveland, a little band of rain and snow. That is vanishing as we speak, but there will be a second bunch that regroups there and comes in on Sunday and give us the little bit of snow that we're expecting. So 19 right now in Tupper Lake. We've got an 18 in Waitsfield right along Route 100 and a 20 in Enosburg. Interesting to see the lake water still at 44, but slowly falling off as we go forward. Still 30 in Springfield. So here's future cast with sunshine through tomorrow. There might be a little band of clouds right over the lakes and south of the lake just because of the cold air above the relatively warm water, but not expecting snow from that. And then as we go through the day, the clouds uh, stay away generally until Sunday morning. And then by Sunday at 830 in the morning, they're getting very close to St. Lawrence County into eventually the Champlain Valley by four or five o'clock on Sunday. So it takes its time, but it eventually gets here and then it basically falls apart right over us. So it's light pretty much the whole time, but enough for a dusting to maybe an inch or two. This is what the snowfall map looked like before. It doesn't quite have the shading on it right now, but the numbers are there. A dusting to two inches for Newport and St. J, two to four as you get down towards the southern Adirondacks and southern portion of Vermont. So very cold by tomorrow morning, nine in Saranac Lake. And then through the day tomorrow, about 30 or so with the sun. There's a little wind out of the northwest, but it's pretty much like today was, 28 in Potsdam. And for southern areas, a 38 in Brattleboro. So impact weather later Sunday for the chance of slippery travel. And then we're dry Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. By the end of next week, either Thursday or Friday, there's probably another round of snow, maybe a little wintry mix with temps in the upper 30s at that point. Jack?